Hey everyone, welcome back to Brain Muffin at the Movies, and I thought I'd try something a little bit different today. Um, people liked when I live streamed the other day with a Captain Marvel uh, the parody uh, video, and uh, I got the dogs at my feet, and I'm gonna try and get through this. So I'm trying to use OBS OBS to do this, and so you got my my my. You can see me, and over here, uh, actually, it's over here for you got to point the other way um that is where the screen share is so this comes from we got this covered.com and i saw this headline popped up uh on my web browser when i was doing a search for something else and i thought you got to be kidding me this is what i've been saying for uh, at least a couple months um it's not it's not my idea fully it's just kind of what i've heard other people talking about and kind of put things together and said you know it, it literally looks like uh the idea was that uh captain uh, america would be replaced by Captain Marvel uh, when he stepped away and Iron Man would be replaced by Spider-Man in the Avengers. And um, so this article from We Got This Covered seems to confirm this. Now, I have not read this article. This could be full of hooey. But um, now that Spider-Man's back in, at least for a few movies, at least probably enough to get through Phase 4 and set up some other things. There's been all kinds of talk about uh, X-Men uh, coming over. Perhaps a Wolverine, uh, you know, Wolverine's still alive or something. We don't know. Um, as Marvel Studios' first effort with a female lead, Captain Marvel released under intense scrutiny and with a ton of pressure weighing it down. Uh, that's sort of true. Um, and though it's far more, uh, it's far from far from one of the best MCU movies. Now, the, here's the thing: is is that wasn't the first uh, Marvel female-led movie, and people keep forgetting that we've had other ones in, in the past. They're not part of the MCU, though. Um, Electra was a female-led Marvel movie. Uh, sticking a bit too closely to the studio's familiar formula, it still provided a satisfying uh, origin story. For, you know, it didn't. Uh, while introducing her uh, into the ever-expanding franchise, uh, I think the, the franchise is, is not expanding anymore. It's going to start contracting. With uh, Robert Downey Jr. out of there and Iron Man gone and Captain America gone, it's going to... It's going to... It's going to slowly leak like a, you know, like a, a party balloon. You know, the next day it doesn't even get off the floor. It's still uh, provided satisfying. Award. Okay, I read that. Uh, which boasts a ton of big name heroes. Now, I had to mention the Mar Captain Marvel went to haul on about $1.1 billion. Yeah, there's a lot of hokey there. And though the character, although she did really big in China. So maybe, you know, maybe it could be that only about two or three hundred million of that is hokey. And the vast majority still, you know, 800, uh, 900 billion dollars, or billion, 900 million dollars, nothing to sneeze at. And though character didn't really have much to do in Avengers Endgame, aside from appearing in a few action seek. Yeah, they didn't know what to do with her. So she gets punched out of the movie for 40 minutes. Um, Tell the team out and rocking a snazzy new hairdo. And it's still much, uh, much to come for, uh, for her in the MCU. And maybe I, 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 you know. Here's I have two two problems. I don't have a problem personally with Brie Larson. I don't know her. I don't know how well you know. It's not up to me to say how well she acts. I get. Well, I guess I get as a fan. I mean, I I get over all over Gal, Gal Gadot, but Gal Gadot, uh, even though I don't think she's much of an actor, she's a very impressionable person. And what Brie has done recently um, is not so much. But again, I don't know how much of that is her handlers and saying, "Hey, you better go out there and defend the party line if you want." Um, to be in this next movie and after all we know Brie Larson has five films left on her contract yeah we'll see about that and only will she be making several more appearances but she'll also go on to become the franchise's new Captain America um and I, I'm hoping that they mean this in the figurative sense uh again it's not a huge hero Captain America was a was a well-known Marvel property before all these movies I remember the movies back in the at the 70s or 80s the guy who looked more like he had he was on spandex and throwing a, a a fiberglass shield around, but that character has been known. And yes, there's been several carn incarnations of it, but it's not a character that's wandering around in the wilderness trying to find who in the world. What's it mean? I mean, look at Captain Marvel. Uh, in the past, you know, it's been been human, been uh, alien. I'm sorry, the dogs want under my desk, and they want to get out of my desk. Um, she's been all kinds of things and been rebooted a lot, 11 times in the last six years, uh, of the recent incarnations. So despite what people want to say, and I know someone posted in one of my videos about, Oh, look at the helm of the sales. Yeah. That last reboot, the first, uh, issue, um, did well. And that was part of the point of that article. Had you bothered to watch my, it was a one minute video. Just watch it. Good grief. Uh, the writer of that article went into that and how, and it, even on that graph that they showed, you have this huge spike for sales for issue one, if I can get my fingers together. And then it was like, 
and it was had dropped below um, the time when they were rebooting, and I guess they didn't. Uh, that doesn't mean she'll take on the actual mantle. Okay, very good. But rather she'll take on a similar role to Rogers as the MCU moves forward. Okay, that was just what I've been thinking for quite some time. Uh, speaking of sources close to it, we got you got this covered. Okay, so we're going to have unnamed sources. Oh, these are rumors. Gee whiz, you guys went all jumped all over Doomcock for unfounded rumors. Uh, same uh, ones who told us that Jonah Hill would be in, in the Batman and that Aladdin sequel was in development. Oh, Aladdin sequel? you got to be kidding me. And that Tom Welling would return in Crisis, all of which have been, been confirmed. Uh, we've learned that Carol Danvers will be the team lead. Yeah. Uh, New Avengers, just like Steve Rogers became the unofficial leader. Yeah, well, he was kind of leading with... Um, Captain of Oath with Iron Man. It kind of went back and forth. It was kind of the whole point of Civil War. Sorry, it is raining here, and I let the dogs out, and I am soaking wet. I don't want to sit in my chair properly. Um, okay, uh, Tony uh, t- uh, Tony may have been the face of the franchise and the biggest hero in the, in the MCU, but without the doubt, it was Steve who really let see him at the end, maybe. And so we are now hearing that Carol will be doing the same for the new Avengers. Okay, so we have, that's interesting. That's, that is um, capitalized. Uh, which will now consist of herself, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, Blade, um, Blade, that's new, uh, Chang-Chi, uh, Jane Foster's Thor, oh yeah, which is going to be horrible, um, Love and Thunder, or Thunderstruck, or whatever the heck it's called, details on how this will all work out remain unclear, uh, but from the, yeah, and it's phase four, and the budgets are going to get, I, they're going to, the budgets are going to shrink big time, guarantee it. Uh, Marvel still has a big plan. I think the first, oh, well, Spider-Man did okay. Um, and I think the first non-RDG, RDJ, <laughs> I still can't get this freaking name right. Uh, uh, that first movie is going to be a little wait and see. And if it's good, you're going to get some repeat of 10. I think it'll have a big opening weekend, whatever. I forget what the next movie is. Um, is that Guardians of the Galaxy? Um, three, four? That might be it or four there's there's i don't remember the whole calendar i think that first one out is going to be and then they're going to be more and more cautious and then by the time we get to captain america 2 which is still in the rumor stage still no uh nothing about time settings uh nothing about a date or release or anything i haven't lost confidence <laughs> There it is again. I have to click on it i'll bring up another tab let's finish this one first and those rumors from a few weeks ago stated um uh, of course, I've yet to announce another solo film. So even even in this article where they got to get a dig in to uh, on Doomcock, very next paragraph, of course, they've yet to announce another solo film for the heroine. Of course they haven't, it, but it's possible Captain uh, Marvel 2 will be out as soon as 2022. In the meantime, fans can rest easy knowing that it sounds like a bit. Yeah, but the thing is, is the normies are probably not going to go see this movie. They were conned into seeing the first one because of where it was sandwiched in and shoehorned in. Um but they're not, I mean, I, and here, I know this is, circ, this is uh, circumstance, well, anecdotal evidence. I know some normies that went and saw Solo, not knowing that it wasn't the next Star Wars movie. And uh, in fact, so when I were, I was working at the time, someone who sort of pays attention, they're a little bit older than I am. So they remember the first Star Wars, uh, said they were going to go see it. And I said, well, you know, it's not the next, they said, we're going to see the next movie, you know, so, Star Wars movie Solo. And I said, you know, it's a prequel. And they said, what? And so another coworker said, yeah, it's happening before a new hope. And it's like, why <laughs> not solo? I'm sorry. Rogue one. Um, but they liked it. Now I actually didn't rogue one. I laughed very hard through most of rogue one. I thought it was so, so cringy and hilarious, but, uh, and then that stupid Vader scene at the end. But by the time we got to solo, I asked them if they were going to see it. And they're like, no, I, I don't care anymore. Um, the last Jedi, th- they, and they gave me crap about, um, the force awakens re uh you know the force awakens the a new hope reboot and by the time we got to last jedi they were like yeah you were right <laughs> so and i know a bunch of people that like that that gave me crap go back and watch my video from the 24th of december the day i saw uh the force awakens whatever year that came out i guess this is uh is that 2015 um i, I was disappointed my my kids thought i was nuts it took about four or five more viewings for my son to say, I think you have a point dad. And I think she is Mary Sue. And then, but his friends thought I was crazy. My daughter thought I was crazy, but she hasn't seen a single one since then. I know I'm getting way off topic and I'm watching myself and my, my levels go up and down, up and down, up and down. This is fascinating. Um, anyway, so to both night, uh, black Knight and dark, uh, new, uh, wait a minute. What? I think I skipped a whole, okay. 
In a way, Carol, uh, give it this intel, uh, comes to us from the same sources who told us the studio was bringing both Black Knight and Moon Knight into the MCU well before that was official. And I don't know who in the heck those, those, those things are. So we're going to, I'm going to look at that. Can you see, you know, you can't see my mouse pointer over there. Okay, cool. So now there's this huge empty space. So, um, this is really just an article to get clicks and it's, it's five well-written paragraphs as opposed to the last ones that I, I read that were just horrible. Um, Anyway, uh, she can only, <laughs> so here's some comments and I'm guessing that there's ads here that I have blocked. Uh, few managed, if any, if none at all to beat cap when it comes to leadership, I, I will give them that. Um, there's also just another version of Tony and Thor. Uh, she is somewhere, <laughs> she's nowhere near capable of being a leader. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, but the haircut dude, uh, the haircuts all, all that matters. Uh, it would be exciting considering the faces. Okay. So this person likes it. <laughs> okay. Wooden acting. To okay. Um, Disney was dumb to give her a seven uh, contract role and, and to make. Yeah. So she has five, but what I, what we don't, don't know is how much, right. What is, what are the specifics of those contracts? You know, does she have to be in them the whole time or what? Uh, so, as, so why didn't it keep my, um, I don't know. Is this, oh, this is, this is, yes, we just got this covered. I, I thought I increased. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why I have this gutter over here on the right. Um, or say it was first a female lead. Um, nope, that's not true. See, this, this is, this is just like, you know, Wonder Woman being the first female movie, blah, blah, blah. It's like, we've had multiple superhero movies with female leads back in the nineties. We had several, um, now they weren't all successful and we've even had action movies. I mean, the one, the biggest bomb of all time had a female lead and it was a pirate movie. Um, I forget Gina Davis was in it. Not just been despite all the trolls trying to do sabotage reputation online. Um, nope. I, I'm, I'm sure there were some trolls, but a lot of people saw it and didn't like it. Um, blah, blah, blah. So this is just another, apparently the studios lost confidence in, and apparently the sign, John Floyd paradox just, uh, so apparently the plan was to pair Carol up with Spider-Man in order to humanize her out a bit. So that tells me right there that they, whatever, whoever's writing, uh, I, I don't know who wrote the first one and if they're based on the comics. I mean, that was one of the things I read in the article about the, the parody of this, uh, of Captain Marvel is that actually followed the comics more. Um, big plans for who's the Black Knight? Because uh, I, I really don't know. As Black Knight features in three of them, meaning the studio is looking to give him a bit of a push into the spotlight. Uh, shot of Strange City and Quantum Realm. Okay. Uh, I guess I got to see the... Uh, I haven't seen Ant-Man and the Wasp, but I haven't seen Endgame either. So uh, maybe I should see those and know what's going on. Uh, be an eye to star. Uh, is this a Jewish character? Is Moon Knight a Jewish character? Is that, Why is it got to have a Jewish actor? Why is that so important? Uh, counters and MCU's uh, Moon Knight. Okay, that'd be interesting. Um, I still don't know who they are, but anyway, uh, back to the article that I'm talking about. So this this article, this article, this is just speculation. Although I think this is what's what was going, what the original plan was, and why it was so important for Disney to get um, Spider-Man back into the MCU. If I do it this way, is that is that better? That's better framing. Yeah, I, I'm I'm just new at this. Sorry, Gary. Uh, I mean Jeremy. Gary's well, Nerd Roddick does it too. So. Um, so really this is, uh, this is just an article to keep some clicks up, keep, uh, Brie Larson's name in the, in, in their website, in their SEO, I think, but it worked. Uh, I read it and now I get to do it. So, um, but I think that was the, the plan all along. Um, I don't think, well, see now the, the next, the new Avengers are going to have a little bit different. I think Thor and with Thor and the guardians of the galaxy going off, uh, on their own, that, that, that brings a different dynamic. And I don't think black Panther will be a part of the Avengers under a leadership like that. Um, so I think, well, he also has a kingdom to run. So there's going to be a different dynamic that'll happen with, with black Panther. And so we'll see, but, uh, yeah, this is what I thought they were going to do. And I think it makes sense. Um, considering what they've set up, uh, whether it's going to be successful or not and whether the fans are going to like it, well, time will tell. And really, if they can develop the Captain Marvel, even with the, the short, short haircut and Brie Larson at the helm, into a good character, if they can give good writing, good writing is important. If they can get some good writing for that character, I think it'll be you know fairly successful. It's not going to be like what we've seen in the MCU already, but it's not. they're not going to be failures like Solo for Star Wars. Um, but if they go all out on their SJW uh, philosophies first and the story is like third, fourth or fifth somewhere in there and character development is on existent, 
the normies are going to get turned off just like they did with Star Wars, and uh, you're going to have you know $150 million budgets, and you might you might make back your money. And um, and that treats them right. I mean, again, story is king. Content is king. So you got to have a good story, good character development, and even the normies won't give a crap about all of, you know, is are they gay straight? No one will care. No, it's got a good character, good characters and good stories first. The rest takes care of itself. All right. Thank you so much for everything. Uh, I don't know where I am on this thing. So um, click the like button. If you want to see me do more of my reads like this, this is just right now is just an experiment that I'm doing with OBS. We'll see how well it works. Uh, if, you, if you're like, dude, don't show your freaking face and just read and stay on topic and don't take 25 minutes to read a five paragraph article. Uh, let me know that too. And um and I'd like to thank Keep It Real for um, leaving all kinds of comments on my Brie Larson videos and linking in some stuff that they, I guess they did, I don't know. Uh, but it's kind of weird. It's, it's kind of a strange voice on that video too. But i like to thank whoever they are. Thank you very much. Uh, hopefully I can get a, a thumb up from you as opposed to a thumb down. Uh, like I said, I don't know Brie Larson personally. I'm just going by the character and how many times this character has been rebooted over a lot. Not just the last five, six years, okay? Look over its entire uh, life time how many times very various uh, it's just like a character that just doesn't know what to be and no one knows what to do with it either so thanks so much and we'll see you next time goodbye all right uh this is a test of the emergency broadcast system had this been a real emergency you would be dead you too yeah i don't i you know <laughs> this is this is so weird yeah i don't have my clapper